Let's take a look at proving the following limit. In this case, we're interested in the limit as x approaches negative 1 of the quantity 3x squared plus 3x over x plus 1, showing that that, proving that that is equal to negative 3. So we want to um, be able to show that given any epsilon greater than zero, there is a delta that will keep, that if we choose x values in a small enough interval around negative one, that the function values produced by 3x squared plus 3x all over x plus one will remain that specified epsilon value close to three. So, Let's go ahead and think about what we want to have happen here. So what we want to have happen is that our function 3x squared plus 3x over x plus 1, that's our function, minus its limit, negative 3, is less than epsilon, if we stay close enough to negative 1 on the x-axis, or close enough to negative 1 in our inputs. So if 0 is less than x minus negative 1, so choosing x values close to 1, we want that distance to be less than delta. So using some algebra here, um, on the left, Let's go ahead and see if we can simplify our function. So I'm going to factor a 3x out of the numerator. So we get 3x times x plus 1 all over x plus 1. Uh, simplifying that minus negative 3 to a plus 3 is less than epsilon if uh, 0 is less than absolute value. We'll simplify that to be x plus 1 is less than delta. Now I can see that I have factors of x plus 1 uh, in my function that I can uh, simplify out. Uh, so I'd end up with absolute value of 3x plus 3 is less than epsilon if 0 is less than absolute value of x plus 1 is less than delta. At this point, I can see there's a, a factor of, neg of 3 that I can factor out of my simplified function. So I'd have 3 times absolute value of x plus 1 less than epsilon if 0 is less than x plus 1 in absolute values less than delta. Uh, now, what we're trying to do is find a condition on delta that will ensure that the difference between our, our function and our limit is less than epsilon. So what kind of condition do I need to enforce on delta that will cause that difference between function and limit to be less than epsilon. So I'm noticing that I have absolute value of x plus 1 as part of this simplified form. Let's go ahead and divide by 3 and we'll get x plus 1 in absolute values is less than epsilon over 3 if 0 is less than absolute value of the quantity x plus 1 is less than delta. So what value of should I choose for delta so that I can guarantee that uh, the difference between my function and my limit is less than epsilon? Well, notice through this process that we have basically simplified the difference between the function and the limit and ended up with this expression Comparing uh, that simplified form, uh, granted we divided by 3 with what our conditional is that we want x plus 1 
to be as small as we choose, uh, or as small as necessary, we should go ahead and um, let delta equal epsilon over 3. So given any epsilon greater than 0, we should let delta equal epsilon over 3. And so if we choose an x value within epsilon over 3 of negative 1, then the difference between our function and our limit will be less than epsilon. So let's go ahead and formalize this into a proof. So um, given any epsilon greater than 0, we're going to let delta equal epsilon over 3. Then if we choose a x values carefully so that those x values are close enough to negative 1 or the distance between the x value and it's kind of hidden here the negative 1 but remember this is how we started so if I choose an x value within delta of negative 1 what will happen well, it follows that uh, the absolute value of my function, 3x squared plus 3x over x plus 1, minus my limit. Now I'm going to start pulling information um, from my scratch paper into my proof. So the absolute value of the difference between the function and my limit is equal to the absolute value of 3 times x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 minus th or plus 3, which is equal to the absolute value of 3x plus 3, which is equal to 3 times the absolute value of x plus 1. Now, this is where we pull in our delta because we're saying if delta, if x plus 1 is less than delta, so we want this x plus 1 to be less than delta. So 3 times the absolute value of x plus 1 is going to be less than 3 times delta. And we just claimed that we wanted delta to equal epsilon over 3. So this is 3 times epsilon over 3, which equals epsilon. So thus we have shown... that if we uh, let delta equal epsilon over 3, um, then the absolute value of 3x squared minus 3 at, or plus 3x over x plus 1, so our function minus the value of our limit, which is negative 3, is less than epsilon. I hope so this helps.